spooky stories, head scratchers, and tall tales. It's October, that means it's officially spooky season. If you're anything like me, it means it's time to suspend your disbelief and tune into some tall tales for a little bit of spooky. Below I'll share some of my favorite stories from Cannon Beach. I wrote about these stories a few years ago and I was surprised to see that many of them were picked up elsewhere since then. The first story I want to share is one I'm sure many of you are familiar with. It's the tale of the bandage man, who is said to haunt the stretch of Highway 101 near Cannon Beach. The Bandage Man The Bandage Man first made an appearance in the 1950s. He is said to be the mummy of a logger that was hacked up in a sawmill accident, wrapped completely in bloody bandages and smells of rotting flesh. He is said to haunt a stretch of Highway 101, between the Highway 26 junction to the north entrance of Cannon Beach and sometimes even as far down as Arch Cape. I also heard that he was an injured fireman, electrician, and the list goes on. What stays consistent in the story is the bandages. Like most folklore, the bandage man mostly targets teens in parked cars. On occasion he is said to target moving vehicles like opened top cars or pickup truck, he'll jump into the back of the vehicle and then mysteriously vanishes before reaching town. Most of the time people do not become aware of his presence until his rotting stench reaches your nose. The bandage man feeds on dogs and small animals, and occasionally the unlucky person. In the 1960s pranks and tales of the bandage man were commonplace, but these days, most people haven't heard this local urban legend. One source told me that the story was told to frighten tourists, but who was to say? It's definitely taken a life of its own online. <laughs>